Welcome everybody. Today we are learning English from another Marvel movie, The Incredible Hulk. I've picked the best phrases from this movie and I will explain them so that you too can transform into a green monster with anger management issues. Let's do this. Why would you learn English from some suit and tie professor when you could learn it from a beauty scientist, the monster living inside of him, and a bad guy with too much confidence. Is that all you got? <laughs> Open up that notepad app and get ready to learn English from... Our story begins with Bruce Banner, an American living in Brazil. He left the US to hide in Brazil, but we don't know what he's hiding from. Bruce has a crappy job bottling sodas, but lucky for him, there are Brazilian models working there too. Yeah. Bruce spends his free time communicating with an anonymous scientist named Mr. Blue. The two of them are working to find a cure for a mysterious disease that Bruce has. The American military has been looking for Bruce and after months of failing, they finally find him. General Ross is responsible for capturing Bruce and bringing him back to the US. He sends a special forces team to Brazil to do the job. The team is led by Emil Blonsky, one of the best soldiers in the world. Blonsky and his team find Bruce in Brazil and chase him down, but something happens. Bruce gets angry, furious, livid, and transforms into a giant green monster. Blonsky and his team are bewildered. Bullets do nothing to stop Bruce. Grenades do nothing to stop him. Even an anorexic brunette with a hamburger can't stop him. After defeating Blonsky and his team, Bruce escapes. Minutes later, after the battle, Blonsky tells General Ross that he found Bruce's backpack and laptop. He says, Had it on him when he bolted. He had it on him when he bolted. To bolt means to run away quickly. Blonsky is saying that Bruce had the laptop and the backpack on him while he was running away from them. Had it on him when he bolted. Blonsky is confused about who they were just fighting. He asks, Doesn't anybody want to talk about what went down in there? Doesn't anybody want to talk about what went down in there? To go down means to happen. It's mainly used with events or with fights. For example, there's a party going down tonight. Blonsky is talking about the fight that he had with the huge creature and he wants more information. Doesn't anybody want to talk about what went down in there? The general explains to Blonsky that Bruce Banner has the ability to transform into a hulking green monster. They all head back to the US and the general gives Blonsky a more thorough explanation of the situation. Bruce was a scientist working for the government on a gamma radiation project, but the government lied to him. So much for relying on the government. Yeah, I know, I hate the government. Bruce didn't know that the government planned to use the Gamma technology to build a super soldier. Bruce tested the technology on himself and it turned him into the Grinch on steroids. Blonsky says to the general, So if you're taking another crack at him, I want in. So if you're taking another crack at him, I want in. To take a crack at something means to try something, to attempt something. When it's used on people, it can have different meanings, but in this context, it means to defeat someone. Blonsky also said, I want in. This expression means that he wants to join. He wants to be a part of the mission to capture Bruce. So if you're taking another crack at him, I want in. Bruce is also now back in the US. He goes to Virginia and runs into Betty, his ex-girlfriend. She helped Bruce on the gamma radiation project, but when he turned into the Hulk for the first time, he almost killed her. Feeling terrible about what he did, Bruce disappeared and she never saw him again. Until now, she's shocked to see him still alive. She takes Bruce home and gives him the data from the gamma radiation project. The data will help Bruce find a cure and stop himself from transforming into the Hulk. We then also discover that Betty is the daughter of General Ross and all three of them work together on this project. Meanwhile, Emil Blonsky agrees to take an injection that will give him super speed and super strength so he can defeat the Hulk. Elsewhere, Bruce is getting ready to leave again. He's saying goodbye to Betty when he sees a soldier in the distance. He realizes the military has found him and he runs. 
The general and Blonsky attack. The general then says, I want to know who jumped the I want to know who jumped the To jump the means to do something too early or to do something before you were supposed to. One of the soldiers revealed himself to Bruce before everybody else was ready. He jumped the I want to know who jumped the they trap Bruce on a bridge and he transforms into the Hulk. They hit him with every weapon they have, including attack helicopters. But the Hulk fights them off. Blonsky takes the opportunity to use his new abilities. At first, he puts up a good fight, but the veggie monster brutally beats Blonsky, breaking all his bones. Is that all you got? <laughs> Hulk then leaves and takes Betty with him. The general takes Blonsky to the hospital, but isn't sure if he'll survive. A short time later, Blonsky fully recovers from all his injuries, shocking everyone. The military continues searching for Bruce. The general says, And when he slips up, we'll be ready. And when he slips up, we'll be ready. To slip up means to make a small mistake. It can also be a noun, a slip up, for example. I spelled that word incorrectly. I slipped up. Or, stay focused to avoid slip-ups. General Ross is saying that whenever Bruce makes a mistake, he'll be ready to capture him. And when he slips up, we'll be ready. The military then discovers the identity of Mr. Blue, the man helping Bruce with a cure. Bruce and Betty are together, traveling the country to find Mr. Blue, who turns out to be a university professor named Dr. Stearns. They agree to test the cure on Bruce. Dr. Stern straps Bruce down and forces him to transform. Then he gives him the cure, and it works! Bruce transforms back into his human form. Later, Bruce, Betty, and Dr. Stearns are discussing what just happened. When a tranquilizer hits Bruce, making him weak, Blonsky and his men show up to Dr. Stern's office and take Bruce away. Blonsky then forces Dr. Stearns to inject him with Bruce's blood. Dr. Stearns follows his orders, but something happens. Blonsky starts to change and ultimately transforms into the Abomination. He escapes the lab and starts deleting people around the city. Bruce and Betty are now captive in an airplane with the general. He gets a call from his soldiers on the ground. They tell him that the Hulk is in the streets, destroying everything in sight. The general tells the soldier, That's impossible. You get a hold of yourself, young man. That's impossible. You get a hold of yourself, young man. To get a hold of yourself means to calm yourself down. The soldier on the phone is afraid and nervous. So, General Ross is telling him to calm down. That's impossible. You get a hold of yourself, young man. The General, Bruce, and Betty are then able to see the abomination down below. Bruce decides that only the Hulk can stop him, so he jumps out of the helicopter and then remembers that he was cured and he can't transform into the Hulk anymore. He hits the ground and dies. The abomination wins! Oh, okay, um, somehow Bruce was able to transform into the Hulk at the last second and survive. Writing. He calls out the Abomination and challenges him to a fight. The two giants battle it out in the streets. The Hulk pulverizes the face of the Abomination but then loses the upper hand. The two beasts continue to fight, but ultimately the Hulk dominates the Abomination and comes out victorious. The Hulk escapes, and Bruce Banner goes to live in the mountains. Meanwhile, General Ross is drinking his pain away in a bar when the one, the only, Tony Stark approaches him. Tony says that he's trying to assemble a team. We have to give you force! And that's it, that's the movie! If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you want to request a movie, put that in the comments as well. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm that crazy mulatto. Now get the hell out of my face. Mommy, they should come for me. Oh, that's not right. Get bored!